Hi everyone, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome back. So for this video, we will continue sign rule. Uh, this one is involving ambiguous cases. So what is ambiguous cases? Let's go. So what is the ambiguous cases in triangle? Okay. So what is ambiguity means? Uh, okay. So ambiguity means in the exactness or the quality uh, of being open to more than one interpretation. So more than one interpretation. So let's see. Let's see the example. The diagram below shows two triangle. Okay. We have A, B one, C, and A, B, C. Okay. Um, with the length of two sides and the non-include angle given as follow. Uh, okay, so this is non-include angle, 30 degree. We have for A, B, 1, C. Okay, for A, B, 1, C, we have 30 degree. Okay, 30 degree, 6 cm and 4 cm. One triangle. Okay, one interpretation. Okay, kalau cikgu nak buat 4 cm dekat sini, oh, cikgu akan dapat bentuk segitiga dia macam ni. Alright, boleh. Kalau cikgu nak buat 4 cm here, okay, then I will get this triangle. Nampak tak? Two interpretation. Okay, so, uh, yang ini yang kita panggil ambiguous case. Boleh. So, there are three conditions for the existence of triangle. Okay, let's see this video. Okay. For the first case, if A less than H, A tu yang mana? Okay, A tu yang mana? A tu ini, nampak tak? Uh, okay, uh, uh, the length of the other side, you have one side here, AB, okay, so the, the length is C, and we have here is A, okay, so if A less than H, okay, there is no triangle exists. Kenapa? Okay, tengok ni. Uh, nampak tak? Okay. A 4.1 3.2 2.7 uh, Okay. It is not uh, enough to make a triangle. That's why there is no triangle is this. When A is less than H. When A, the side of A is less than the height. Alright. Okay, for the second case. Okay, A is uh, equals to H, okay, A equals to H, so we will get one triangle, A this, okay, one right angle triangle, because of A is equal to H. Let's say A is more than C, A is more than C, okay, now C is 10, A is more than C, let's say kita ambil 11. Um, we have one triangle if A is more than C. Okay, and the third, okay, ni A more than C, okay, one triangle is this. And the third condition is, uh, two triangle is this, if C, uh, A is less than C, and A is more than H, uh, we will get two triangle is this. Okay, macam mana? Okay, jom kita tengok. A is less than C. Okay, less than C, uh, less than C, 9, more than H. Okay, more than H. Uh, 9. Okay, 9 lah kita ambil 9. Okay, nampak tak? We have two triangle. Okay, the first one and the second one. Ah, uh, Boleh? Less than C, greater than H. Less than C, greater than H. We have two triangle. Okay? So, how to know uh, if there is ambiguous case? So, the first one is if you are given length of two sides, okay, A and C, okay, length of two sides and then non-include angle which is acute. And the second one is uh, the side which is opposite the non-include angle. So, let's say, sini non-include angle, here is non-include angle, the side is shorter, so sini A lah. Uh, shorter than the other side. Let's say sini C. So, A is shorter than C. Okay. But, it is longer than height. Uh, ni dia punya height. Uh, greater than H. Okay. So, these two 
uh, condition will produce ambiguous case. Alright, now we continue with example 5. So we have a triangle ABC. Okay, A, um, okay, BAC is 40 degree, AB is 20, BC is 14 cm. So let's say we sketch uh, B, A, C somewhere here. Okay, so 40 degree. Here is 20. Uh, first, we have to determine the height. Uh, kita cari height dulu, height okay, 90 degrees. So, so, we can use uh, trigonometric ratio. Okay, sine 40 degree equals to height over hmm, hypotenuse 20. So, height is equals to 20 sine 40 degree. Alright, then you will get the height is 12.856 centimeter. So, here is 12.856 cm. Since BC is less than AB, okay, BC 14 cm, right? BC 14 cm, less than AB, but more than uh, H. H is 12.856, okay? Then, uh, ambiguous case is this. Uh, okay. Do you still remember the condition? Right? Okay, so uh, then you have to find, uh, calculate the possible value of C and B. Uh, C and B. Uh, C dekat sini berapa, uh, B dekat sini berapa possible value. Uh, for this ambiguous case, we have two triangle. A, we draw it again. C1, here is C, here is 20 cm. The height is 12.85. And then A, C is... Uh, A, C tak ada. Eh? Uh, B, C. B, C 14 cm. We have to find the possible value of B... Uh, so, B ada dua lah kat sini. A, B, C1. A, B... Nampak tak? A, B, C. Uh, angle dia tu lain. Okay. C dan juga C1. Okay. Possible angle dia. Okay. For triangle A, B, C. For triangle A, B, C. Uh, for triangle ABC, yang yang ABC lah yang besar ni. Okay, sin sin C over 20. Okay, nampak tak kita ambil? C over 20. Uh, okay, equals to sin 40 over 14. Okay, here is 40. Over 14. Nah, ini. Okay. So, you will get C equals to um, 66.68 degree. Dekat sini. 66.68 degree. Alright. So, uh, for B, angle of B, kita ambil saja 180 Minus 40, okay, minus 66.68 degree. Then, the answer is 73.32 degree. Okay, for triangle, okay, for triangle, okay, for triangle A, B, C1, Okay, how to find angle of C1? Uh, angle of C1. Okay, kamu tengok dekat sini. Uh, triangle cikgu ni tak cantik. Okay, cikgu lukis lagi sekali. Sini dia punya uh, height. Uh, dia macam tu kan? Okay. Uh, okay, height. Sini 14. Sini pun 14. Okay, sini kita dah dapat dah tadi. 66.68 Maksudnya angle dekat sini C1 
yang kita nak cari. Kan? Okay. So, angle 66 here is equals to here. Ah. Okay. Isosceles triangle. So, nak kita nak cari C1, 180 minus 66.68 degree equals to 100, 113, 113.32 degree. So, angle of B is equals to 180 minus 113.32, okay, minus uh, lagi satu, 40 degree, okay, equals to 26.68, okay. So, this is the possible value of B and C. Hi. Sebelum close video, jangan lupa like, share, komen dan subscribe channel Cikgu Ati. Jangan lupa tekan loceng untuk video-video yang akan datang. Sehingga kita berjumpa lagi. Assalamualaikum. Bye.